Well, hello and welcome. You join me again today on Kenfig Sands by the wreck of the old fishing trawler, the Altmark. This ran aground in June 1960. Luckily, no one was hurt. There was only one person on board and they were safely rescued. However, this stretch of coast gets the full force of the Atlantic storms and there's a number of shipwrecks along this part of the coast. The worst being the Sam Tampa, which ran aground in April 1947, where 47 men lost their lives. And that's at the southeast side at Scare Point. I have done a video on this, I'll put this in the, in the link below. But today, we're going to another wreck, an older wreck, which is at the far northwest of the beach right over towards Port Talbot Deepwater Harbour and the Breakwater and that's the Amazon and that ran aground in a severe gale on the 1st of September 1908 so that's where we're heading. The Amazon was a four-masted bark which was en route from Port Talbot to Chile South America carrying a cargo of coal. It was towed out into the, the bay and it set sail but quickly ran into difficulty in a storm in Swansea Bay. It tried to seek shelter over at the far west of the bay by Mumbles but the storm picked up and the ship dragged the anchors back across Swansea Bay back towards Port Talbot. The chain snapped and basically the ship was carried broadside, being hit by the waves and the wind, and just was pushed further and further across, and it ran aground just past the harbour and Margam Sands. Despite being close to the shore, the waves pummeled the ship, breaking three of the four masts. Some of the crew tried to swim to safety, and a few others climbed the last remaining mast. Unfortunately, to the horror of the onlookers, this snapped as well and the crew fell into the waves. Of the 28 crew on board, 20 lost their lives. To see the wreck, you have to visit at low tide. The day the low tide is about 1.6 metres. I don't know if it's going to be low enough, but we'll see. The location of the wreck is quite hard to get to. It lies on more of a beach, which is by the steelworks. So access is quite restricted. I parked at Maudlam, walked across the dunes, then along the sands. It's about a four, four and a half mile walk, one way. The steelworks tried to restrict access to this stretch of the beach, saying it was hazardous. But luckily a local campaign, the Friends of Morva Beach, campaigned against that and they won. So, we still have the right to walk along Margam Sands up to Port Talbot. After a five and a half mile walk across Margam Sands from Maudlam, I've made it to the wreck of the Amazon, which ran aground on the 1st of September 1908. When it ran aground, that big breakwater behind wasn't there. That was built in the late 60s. So just going back, a low tide, 1.6 metres, is actually low enough.
near the wreckage of the Amazon, you can find remnants from World War II. About 100 yards away, there's a Melbury Harbour, which they used to practice the D-Day landings with. And there's also a tank buried here as well. But I think you only can see that at a very low tide. And 1.6 metres isn't low enough. So that's the story of the Amazon, which ran aground on Margam Sands in 1908. So join me next time as I continue to explore Wales and hopefully, fingers crossed, a bit further afield. So until next time, that's a bye from me.